I'm starting this video what is known as a full kit wanker. Oh, hey, mate, baby, boots, get home. Right, this video is going to be very hard to predict. Uh, right, Premier League predictions, alright. Hi guys, um, fancy seeing you in a while considering I was daily vlogging. One month, well done then. Um, yeah, so, we've got the Premier League predictions here for the next season. 17-18 season, let's get stuck into it at the bottom of this table. I've got a list here on my iPad. Right, in bottom, yeah. A crucial list of people that have got complete no shit. Huddersfield. See Huddersfield, they've just come up. If Paul, if Paul Lince's son Tomins is your save savior, then you are screwed. Bottom. I don't think they're going to make any more crucial signings. Bottom. Now Burnley at nineteenth. Burnley. Burnley. They're not really, not really that impressive. I mean, they've just lost their main defender, um, Michael Keane. They've just lost their main defender, Michael Keane. And um, their main defender is Ben Mee. Ben Mee, who's 5'11". A defender. Work that one out. Um, right, last relegation spot. This one's kind of controversial. I mean, they've just got a new manager. He got another team relegated. It's Watford. They're changing managers in, out, in, out. I think it's just going to come unstuck and they're going to go down. Oh, yeah. Huddersfield or Burnley are a very, not, like, a very liked team. So that'll be like a moment when they go down. If they go down, I'm right. I mean, I might not be right. Um. So, yeah. That's the bottom three, Watford. I think they're finally going to come and stuck with changing managers. I mean, Marco Silva might as well not unpack his bag because he's going to be out 10 months later. Um, 17th, we've got Swansea. Swansea are going to stay up for one more season. Next season, they're going to go down. They're just going to go down. They haven't made any convincing signings, but if they keep hold of Sigurdsson, then they'll be fine. And uh, Lorente, he's only 23. He's going to grow in the Premier League. Yeah, they should be fine. Um... Brighton in 16th. Now, I want to put Brighton higher, but there's so many different teams that are better than them, they just have to come 16th. Because when I was predicting this, I was like, actually, they might finish like 13th. Like, they might be a Bournemouth, but there's that team and there's that. Yeah, they got to go 16th. So 16th, yeah. Um, In 15th, it is Stoke. Just lost their best player, and they've just lost John Walters to... Well, yeah, they just signed... I ain't got a clue to be honest. <laughs> I don't know who signed John Wall. Oh well, I know they've lost him and um they're four six foot four left mid Marco Naltovich, whatever his name is. So yeah, that's um fifteenth covered Stoke. I mean I don't think they're gonna have a good season, they're gonna be struggling. Um fourteenth this is a team that were at the top of their game, they're about to lose their best player. It is Leicester. They're about to lose their best player, Riyad Mahrez. as well. He wants to leave. and they, they, He could have said that last year when there was actual interest, but now there's jack shit interest. So, 13th, Crystal Palace. They're swapping through managers. They're not doing much. They're not doing bits. Wait, who have they got now? So, yeah, they've got some random fella. Yeah. So... They're, they're not doing bits. They've made one or two signings. I don't think they're going to do good. They've signed that from a 20-year-old from Ajax. He's all right, but he plays for Ajax, for fuck's sake. I mean, we beat them in the um, Europa League final. More than us later. Um, Bournemouth. 12th is Bournemouth. Now, Bournemouth, they finished 9th last season. They have got Defoe, but... There's so many different teams who are probably going to finish above them. Now, the last team that's been promoted in 11th, Newcastle. Newcastle, it's something about Newcastle. Well, I just I just like Newcastle. Like, Newcastle are my second team. I just like them. Well, they're not my second. They're my second Premier League team. I just like them. I don't know why. I've got no hate for them. Like, they've got one of the best stadiums. I've never been. I want to go. Um, they've got one of the best stadiums. Uh... 
and I think they'll really bounce back, you know, with um, Rafa Benitez. In 10th is West Brom. West Brom, they're just one mid-table. You won't notice they're there. Um, in ninth, we've got Southampton. Um, Southampton, they, they've got rid of the one that looks like a rat and just got this random fella in. Um, the one that looks like a rat did, did bits. He finished eighth. I mean, they ain't going to finish above. Um, I think it's because of the gap between Everton and Southampton that, like, if that was closer, I think it would have stayed. But, oh well. So, that is... Ninth done. In eighth, we've got West Ham. They've made a couple of signings. They are going it in hard. In seventh, now, Everton, they've made a lot of signings. And they're getting a new stadium in a couple of years with these new owners. But they're not as good as the other six. So they're going to go seventh. I mean, they will have a good season. But this is it. You can have a good season this season. You can have a good season this season. And finish seventh. Like, that's how bad it is. Like, that's how tight it is. So the top six is probably one of the hardest leagues ever to call. I mean, Premier League starts in about two weeks, you know, less than two weeks. It starts next week. I can't wait. Man United versus West Ham. Chikorito. Um, yeah, so sixth. Now, they have made a couple of signings. They've made two signings. Um, they're both good. They're both improvements. Um, both improvements, but they need to improve their midfield. They're probably going to lose a couple of their best players. Uh, they've got a boring ass manager who needs to. It's time to go, fam. Uh, it's Arsenal. I mean, Arsenal. I I don't think Lacazette will be good in his first season. I think he'll do a Paul Pogba and um, like do bits here and there, and then in his second season fully come to life. Hopefully. <laughs> Um, in fifth, now, I am going to jump on the bandwagon, even though I don't believe in it, but Spurs haven't made any signings, so they're going to finish fifth. Now, Spurs have looked like a good team, but Spurs, in their preseason, they had good bits and bad bits. So I think they're going to do that in the league, so they're going to have good bits and bad bits, but that's not enough to finish in the top four. So, I mean, they could buy a new, new, another defender, because Vertonghen's 31. And a new centre mid, centre mid, um, Dembele's twenty nine. I mean, yeah, they need a refresh down that left hand side of the middle. If you get what I mean. <laughs> and um, uh, then in fourth, only because they don't look as good as they did last season, and the other teams have improved. I mean, they've improved. They've made two signings, but. They sign it that one of them I don't think like I don't think any of the Monaco signings will be will will work out. They just something about them, I just don't think they'll work out. Like it's legal, come on, calm down. Um Well, saying that I'm probably gonna get slated, but still. Um so this video's dragging on a little bit. Chelsea at fourth. Now, they have got the best midfielder in the league. They've got some of the best defenders. They've got the second best goalie. They've got the best left back, not the best right back. They've got the best left winger, not the best striker. I mean, the Morata, yes, Morata, I don't think he's going to... This is the debate. Who's going to be better, Lukaku or Morata? In the first season, Lukaku, because he's been in the Premier League. He's done it before in many different clubs. The thing is, he doesn't score. He doesn't score about the big clubs. We drew a lot of games against the little clubs, so we want them goals against the little clubs, and we'll we'll do bits against against the big clubs anyway. So yeah, and uh, Morata will do more long term than short term. So in third, just because their defense is utter utter awful and they've got too many attacking players, it's all gonna get compressed and pff, explode. Uh, Man City, they're fenced all over the place. They've got too many attacking players. People are going to get angry. And then the chemistry is just going to be lost. The team's going to be split and bye-bye Pep. In second, now, there's two teams left. The two old rivalry. Liverpool in second. 
Now, Liverpool have made one good signing. They need a couple more in the defence. I think that they'll have a good season. I think they'll be first most of the season and then do their casual drop like Spurs do. I think Spurs will be in third all season and drop down to fifth. And then Liverpool will drop down second and, you guessed it, Man United in first. Now, you might say, this is you being biased. Maybe a little bit. Okay, <laughs> maybe a little bit. But still... Um, Man United, Mourinho has won the title. Every club has been in the second season. Chelsea, Inter, Real Madrid, and now Man United. So we're going to do it. Lukaku's going to perform. Just because he didn't score in the first game doesn't mean he's back. It was against LA Galaxy for their sake. It's gonna, he's gonna do bits this season. He's gonna score thirty six goals in all competitions, and we, oh yeah, and another thing about Chelsea, they have all the teams that they played abroad, um, like Inter, um, Bayern, they've done really bad. So I don't think that they'll do good in Champions League, and I think they'll have a really bad start to the season and then bring it back. Be like the season before, because uh, they said. Uh, Conte must avoid uh, Mourinho season, and um, we've got we we're, we're gonna have the best midfielder, best midfield in the league with Matic when he finally signs in a couple of days because he's been pictured in a car going to Carrington and in a Man United training jersey as number thirty one. So it's it's done. It's one hundred percent done. I think I think they're just waiting for us to get back to it to England. So we can announce it with the team and get all mixed in with the team. Lovely jabbly. That's the league for you. Uh, Man United to win the league. The Lukaku to do bits. Um, De Gea number one clean sheets. And Paul Pogba number one assist. Now we're going to move on to, to goal scorers. Right guys, so we're doing the top scorers now. Uh, top scorer, number five. We're going to go from number five. We're predicting number five. Uh, Chikorito Hernandez, West Ham. is. He's gonna come back and storm it. Obviously, like you know, that's the only reason we're still gonna finish eighth. I have to think where I put him. Um, number four, Morata. I said Morata is gonna do good long term, and this is gonna be part of that. He's gonna build it up every season. Number three, Harry Kane. Like as Spurs are gonna fall down, so is Harry Kane in the top goal scorers. In second, we've got Aguero. Still haunts me to today. Uh, Joey Barton's fault. Uh, yeah, Aguero is going to score a lot of goals. I Means City going to get third, but their defense is going to let him down. Um, in number one, Lukaku. Now I might be being biased now. Now this bit is probably a little bit biased, but they normally give the stuff to the like the player of the year. They normally give it to the team that's won, and the young player of the year is the best. Young player that's performed, and you know, so that's my uh, top scorers. As I said, um, Paul Pogba was going to be top of assists, so he's going to get player of the year. He's going to do bits. Him and Lukaku got that bromance, they're going to link up. Him and Rashford, him and Mikatarian, him and everyone. The team spirit is one of the best ever has been so like. In ages, like even like an Arsenal and a Liverpool fan said that um, on Copper Nighty, like they went to see him and the team spirit is like so close, it's unreal. And when Zlatan comes back, he's gonna storm it, super sub. So then, player of the year, Paul Pogba, and Martial is gonna be fighting for his spot again in left mid with Marcus Rashford. He's gonna be cutting in young player of the year, Marcus Rashford, or Martial. It's all according who performs better, who sticks to that left mid so yeah that's my predictions thanks so much for watching guys um i will try and do more videos you know maybe some reviews maybe i'm not going to any games this year because some stuff has happened um off camera uh i can't say anything yet most people know anyway but still um so i'm not going to any united games so i can't vlog them um yeah so yeah I'll see you in the next video. Peace.